In this video, I'll introduce two tools that you'll you'll probably get a lot of mileage out of. You'll probably use a lot the extrude tool and the extrude inner. So let me make a cube, and I'm going to make the cube editable. You know the drill by now. And just to uh, bring home, you know, some common mistakes or uh, a common error, let me uh, access the extrude tool through the mesh uh, drop down menu mesh create tools once again just like I showed in the previous video uh oh everything's nothing is available to me okay so let me uh, go into points mode I wasn't model mode I went into points mode let's see if that works uh, create tools well I got a bunch of stuff oh extrude works in, in there but I don't have extrude inner let me go to edges extrude works no extrude inner what if I go to polygon mode something tells me that's gonna work right so now the I want to point out that the tools that we're I'm going to demonstrate extrude and extrude inner only work when you're in um, this polygon mode okay so if something's not working right make sure you're in the correct mode when you're working with extrude and extrude inner and just like the extrude is used so often it has its own um, hotkey which is just the letter D if you can remember that however if you hit the letter M on the keyboard you'll get a list of all the tools all the hotkey uh, hotkeys that'll bring the tools up so to get to extrude you hit the letter M and then the little menu will show you uh, what's going on so let's try that so I'm going to hit the letter M, and I've got a lot of stuff to pick from, but I'm interested in extrude. It says hit the letter T to get the extrude key, which I will do. I'm going to cursor over uh, a surface, a polygon, and I can go anywhere in my workspace, and I can click, hold, and drag. And this is the action you're going to get. Once I let go, it has created this um, other section, and it's left this this new edge. So I, I created this these polygons, and I didn't disable the extrude uh, tool. I can click again, make some more polygons, extrude again. So you can see how this goes on for all eternity. Okay, so let me uh, Command Z back to my original cube here, and um, the extrude inner is in conjunction, used, used in conjunction with the extrude, you can you get some really interesting stuff. So let me hit the letter K, or pardon me, hit the letter M. Let's think M for menu. Extrude inner, if you look way down there, is the letter W. So let me hit the letter W, grab this guy. Now I, I can come anywhere in my workspace, click, hold, and drag. And what it does is it pulls it in, you know, uh, evenly. Now if I go, um, you can you know, either go click, hold, and drag right and left or up and down, doesn't matter. If I go this way, outside the object, I'm going to start getting some really weird geometry. Um, so the extrude inner should be used as it, the name implies. Whoops, I messed up because I, I went too far. You should be just doing the extrude inner of this. Now Using extrude inner with the extrude, it uh, you can get some interesting stuff. So I can go to the drop down menu and click extrude here. But remember the um, letter D is the hotkey for extrude. I messed up. I missed it. Okay, so now uh, letter D. Now I can extrude. Let me go back to my extrude inner, which remember, bring up menu, and then bring up W and extrude inner. D for extrude. So you can get like this telescoping kind of thing, and you will do this a whole bunch. Um, so that's, let's see, let me do another one. Uh, M, W to get to extrude inner. Now at this, 
stage here, I, I extruded it. You can also experiment with using the uh, move tool, which let me pull this out a little bit. You see how it's the geometry is just a little bit different. It's not like this. Um, it's not this sharp 90 degree angle. With this polygon selected, I can also use the scale tool, which is T for transform. And I can anywhere in the workspace, click, hold and drag. And there's like just a slight, well, not a slight. I mean, there, there's a difference in behavior and shape using the scale tool, the move tool, as opposed to the extrude tool, extrude inner. So let me let me do an extrude inner again. Oops, M W extrude inner. Let me let me go way in here. And D for extrude. Also, yeah, you can go inward. I forgot to mention that. You can go inward too, but let me go out again. Then let me hit the uh, E key for move tool. And you can see that it, the move tool will just elongate this without creating any more polygons on it. So um, just experiment with that, with the uh, rewind the video if you, you got a little bit lost on that. And experiment with using the extrude tool in conjunction with extrude inner. Then experiment using the scale tool with the move tool and uh, and ex along with ex along with the extrude tools so anyway that is that maybe a little bit too much information in one video just rewatch it if you're a little bit confused